I was a surgeon for 10 hours a day. It was, didn't feel like it. Just having a great time listening to music and just creating. I don't know how to describe it. It's just, it's not work to me. I just, I love doing what I do. Really, I've always wanted to be a plastic surgeon. Um, it's really all I've known. Uh, I grew up, you know, grew up uh, the oldest of three boys, and my dad was a medical sculptor, and he was a, uh, it's called a medical sculptor, and it was a, um, a position at the Burns Hospital, the Shrine of Burns Hospital in Galveston. And he was uh, responsible for making all the prostheses for the burn children. I was exposed to plastic surgeons at a very, very, very young age, and um, I, I was, you know, do what my dad did. So I would, I'll be making prosthetic, uh, you know, eyeballs, and I was painting them just like my dad painted them. I was making silicone ears and painting like, you know, sculpting them and making them out of clay and then pouring the mold. So you know, I had plastic surgeons telling me they were watching me do these things. They're like, you're, you're going to be a plastic surgeon one day, and uh, that kind of stuck. You know, that just stuck to me, and uh, I just didn't want to let that go. Um, and my dad told me from the very get go. He goes, you know, I want you to be a doctor, son. You're going to be a doctor. You're gonna be a doctor. I don't care what kind of doctor. You can be a dentist. You can be a chiropractor. You can be a family doctor. He goes, I just want you to be a doctor. And uh, so I wanted to be a doctor. That's where my inspiration came. And so that's what I did. Like on the summers, I would um, go hang hang out with my dad and do help my dad with that and get to know my um, my future mentors uh, in plastic surgery. Um, I think I was like freaking like 15 or 16 years old. And my dad loved tennis, loved tennis. We watched Wimbledon, we watched, you know, all, all, all the tennis matches. His favorite player was Roger Federer. And so Roger Federer, and if you ever look at his logo, it's like this F and it's kind of a, it's kind of a combination of an R and F. And so I, I was watching it with my dad and I, I took a post-it note and I did an R and M. There you go. That's where my, my logo came from. I drew that when I was a kid. And I told my dad, like, Dad, I'm like, this would be my doctor logo one day, I promise. And he goes, wow, that's really cool, son. And that's it. So I've always saved it. And uh, I knew when I was going to become a doctor, I was going to use this as my logo. And um, there it is. There's original post-it note. <laughs> How old were you when you did that? I think I was like 15 or 16. <laughs> I was still in grade school, man. Like, and he was like, yeah, he was, that's, that's awesome. He was, that's great. So... Again, it comes down to, you know, anything my dad liked, I really wanted to, like, you know, she's like, wow, that's really cool. Just impress my dad. I don't, I don't, know. I don't know. It's a dad thing. So that's, no one paid me. And I didn't pay anybody to do my own logo. I actually did it myself. And so to kind of wear it, you know, when he first saw my logo and my scrubs, I got my, my scrub logo down. And I had my butt. You see, I got my butt and my arm. And I showed up to the house, like, what's up, dad? How you doing? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> he loved it. He loved everything about it. So anyway, that's another silly thing about that. So that's kind of how I got started. And it was just a matter of, for me, just, you know, putting in the work and being consistent and making good grades and just believe in yourself that you can do it. And I had, I was very fortunate to have two parents that really believed in me and they told me I could do whatever I want to do. And that's where I am now is I'm a positive surgeon living the dream. And I feel my parents are proud. <laughs>